Howdy! How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I hope this finds you well. Lord have mercy, here we are in summertime, 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 summertime. Oh my, it has been hot, 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 hot. It's hotter than a spoon over in Hunter Biden's apartment. Matt, don't think that's funny. Is there anybody in the chat? Sorry, there was that's an funny? echo. Production <laughs> issues over here. Hi, Brenda G. Hi, everybody. <laughs> What's going on in Matt's world? Oh, my. Well, um, I'm kicking myself because I haven't made any content lately. <laughs> we had the 4th of July weekend in here, and the run up to that, I didn't do anything during. The celebration, I didn't do anything. And then this week is sort of the recovery mode. Didn't do anything. <laughs> but um, other than that, I am starting to build. Get this. Are you sitting down? Yep. My Gatton CNC machine. So I bought a kit out of wood. And you need to build the base for it. You need to build the gantry. And you need to assemble this thing. And then it'll be an overhead four axis carving machine which i really want and i've had this kit i'm sorry to say over two years and i haven't done anything with it so well, i'll soon be putting that together and i'm excited about that um, i've got an unfinished objects laying around the house that, that have been laying here since right after i moved in and i've been here nine years almost nine years so don't feel bad i mean you know i, I figure it'll get done when i get to it if I had to get everything done so that there wouldn't be nothing left for you to do when I'm dead, I'd hop right to it and get that sucker done. But since it, you know, there's going to be plenty for you to do once I'm dead that I, I feel like, well, why knock myself out? Uh, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But I'm going to get to building that soon. And then eventually I'll have a working CNC machine. And then the creative and awesome things are going to start happening. I'm going to put the awesome back in awesome wood things because I'm going to make some awesome wood things with this machine. I well, was I going I was going to buy Dave's um, Garage Works machine, uh -huh. but it's just too large, and the shipping process to get it here is either too expensive or too late laborious for me doing it myself. I bought a trailer hitch and... I'm like, oh, I'll just install that. It's it's four bolts. Well, you got to file away a little piece of the frame to get the bolt. And then you got to fish it through like you're fishing wire through the wall. And then you got to torque it. All, and then I'm like, OK, not realizing that the whole thing is about 80 pounds. So how am I supposed to get under my car, hover this 80 pound thing and screw? I'm like, that's what jacks are for. Well, then I got to buy jacks. Jacks are 90 bucks each. <laughs> you don't you know. have anybody you can borrow some jacks from? Well, I wanted to get those ramps because those seem really safe. Safe. I don't want to just have a rinkety dink little jack that could accidentally let go and crush me. I don't know. It. I'm just like, it's just, it doesn't make sense to get a, a five foot wide by five foot high machine from Georgia to Pennsylvania. I rent in the trailer and I would have to build this, this, this holder for it to kind of transport it tilted. Cause I, it can't go flat. Cause nothing's that wide. I'm just like, oh, it's too, too difficult, too difficult. <laughs> but I'm bottom line is um, I'm getting, getting my wood shop fired up again. I got some great plans for some great, awesome wood items. What oh, you want to hear? want to hear Sure. I'm kind of bogart in a conversation here, but I'm going to make end, an end grain cutting board. Okay. But, but, but it's going to look like a piano. <laughs> so I'm going to use white maple and then dark walnut. And I'm going to make it exactly the same size as the keys of a piano. And it's going to be, and it's going to have a strip of, uh, cherry on the back because a lot of pianos have a piece of red felt. I don't know if you mm -hmm. can kind of see. I guess you can't. So it's gonna it's gonna be really cool. And I'm gonna use the CNC machine to to kind of. <laughs> 
help with that process. And got another, I got many, many awesome projects planned for it. So I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy. Well, I've had basically two things in the works. And one of them is my friend Dennis. He's, he's out of the hospital and he needs rides to his doctor's appointments and all that. So, you know, I'm back to the chauffeur in business of getting him to all his doctor's appointments. You never seen anybody have to go to a doctor as much as he's got. You he, are I a think saint he's for doing this for him. You know, you're, you're just a, an angel of mercy. Cause well, so I'm, I'm up for sainthood. You know, I'm, <laughs> I, mean, I know, I know he's a good friend, but you know, he's not related, you know, but yeah. you know, good on you. I mean, good Samaritan over here, yeah. everybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm up for sainthood and, <laughs> And he's a good guy too. Yeah, so. yeah, he, he's a good guy. He's helped me out plenty, so you know I'm happy to try to help him out if I can. But uh, Lord, I never seen anybody go to as many doctors as he. I don't think he's missed any doctors. I think he goes to all of them. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had that going on, and in the interim, I'm trying to work on the new studio some. So oh, good. I've been fiddling around with that, you know, and I'll I'll get into it until I have to come back downstairs to get something to work up there and well then I come downstairs and I always get sidetracked the dog's got to go out or you know got to get the mail or you know there's always something going on down here that sidetracks me from going back up to work on it some more but uh, little by little you know eventually we'll get it up there and get everything going I'm not making no bets on when it's going to happen it's just you know in its own time when it's due to happen it's due to happen we do have some people in the chat though we probably ought to say hey to them all righty we got Frenzy Wicked Truth out there. Good to see her. Arlene uh, Adkinsell, she's in the house. Good to see her. I talked to her earlier about the, the storm. She She's down south. She said that the storms don't get to her down there. So we're happy to hear that she's safe and, and didn't get hit by any hurricanes. That's good. A couple of weeks ago, she had me on her live stream. Thanks again, Arlene, for that. Appreciate that. And then, uh, are you sure it was Arlene? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I think you're talking about Anita. I was Anita. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you for. Because I don't think Arlene's been having any live streams, but then I right. could be wrong that's about right. that. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> he don't know where he's at half the time. He well, just can't ignore. Well, vacation has just <laughs> thrown me off. I haven't been the same since. <laughs> I thought it was the Hooters, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Kilroy's out there. We're glad to have Al with us this evening. Oh, gosh. Uh, who else? Jim Bashirs is out there. Good to see Jim. And uh, of course, Stream Elements is on the job putting up the, the links and all the stuff that it's supposed to be doing. So that's great. Everybody hit that like button for me if you would and share this thing out. Share, 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 share. Did I mention share? <laughs> Brenda, where's, where's my like sign? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Boom. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Hey, I, well, I have a fun tidbit is. about well, Kilroy and te technology. <laughs> the Hooters, Matt. <laughs> See, look, look, look what he says to me there. And I'm about uh, to say something nice about him. And he, he drops that. <laughs> no, huh. I'm, I'm using yeah. a pe piece of technology to help content create uh, a content creator. And it's Kilroy's Odessa Woodworking and Maker Shop. I'm starting to use the iPhone's reminders. Yeah. Because you can just press the button and say, remind me every month on the 14th to do something. And I've been giving him my, um, my free Amazon prime 499 monthly gift Twitch subscription. So every month on the 14th, it gives me a reminder and I go to Kilroy's page and I give him four ninety nine for free. <laughs> and then it just reminds me next month. The only problem is it's like it drifts by a couple hours each cycle because once it becomes 7 PM the next month, like it waits three hours before it lets you do it again. So then it'll be 10 PM and then I'll have to, sleep and then the next cycle it'll be <laughs> seven in the morning <laughs> and then 12 and you know, stuff like that but i i'm using the apple reminder feature to gift kilroy a sub 
a paid so it's like a super chat mm-hmm. on Twitch and I I could do it once a month and it doesn't cost me any more than my prime subscription so I've been doing that I think that's fine. We got a couple of new ones come in there in the, the chat room. We got uh, Izzy Cat Planet is out there. Good to have you with us. Welcome. And we got uh, Mrs. Mitchell Loom Knitter in the house. Good to have her with us. Um, might want to mention tonight, we haven't mentioned it in a while, but we do have a system here on my channel that if you would like to get your channel um, advertised, I guess is the best way to put it. For free, uh, I've got a, a spreadsheet that you can put your information on for your channel, and it's easy to fill out. And Matt, if you can drop the links there in the chat for people, you put your information on the spreadsheet, and then once you put your information on the spreadsheet, it it uh, or in the in the form, I should say, you put your information in the form, it drops it into the spreadsheet. And that's with everybody else's channels. And you can go through is Stream Elements running? Yeah. What's 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 the hashtag to make the form come up? Gosh, I don't know. I thought it was hashtag sign up. It was uh and I thought hashtag spreadsheet gave you the other one. But Stream Elements is running because it put my Etsy store stuff up there a little bit ago. What's, uh, oh, what's, hmm. What's the hashtag to tell you what all the hashtags are? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking me these technical questions? Uh, <laughs> you forgot who you're talking to. Oh, wait, it's, is, is it in your, it's, it's in your, uh, 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 your description, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll find it here. Let's see. Um. To network, okay, here we go. I got it now. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm dropping the form link. Here we go. Yeah, you fill out the form with your channel information, and then it automatically puts it into the spreadsheet. Then you pull up the spreadsheet, and you can see everybody else's channels that's listed. And you can go through and check out their channels, and if you are if you like them, you can subscribe and promote them and, you know, watch the videos, and they can do the same for you. And we did that because YouTube, in its infinite wisdom, decided to take the ability for us to check out each other's channels from the chat. So, um, you know, this is one way around that. It's a it's there a small you. way, but it's free. I'm sharing my screen if you want. Okay, so this is ultimately the resource. Now, I won't show you the other link to the form. It's just a web form. But this will put your data here. And then you can come down here and you can... Find a channel, go to the channel. That's not a YouTube channel. Oh, Maker Deloach, this is my friend Ryan. And then you can subscribe to the channel. If, only do it if you actually like the channel. Don't just willy nilly hit red buttons everywhere. Uh, but you can't want. change anything in the spreadsheet. That's why you put it on the form, and the form will automatically put it into the spreadsheet for you. And then uh, you can check out everybody else's information that's in the spreadsheet. You can't change nothing in the spreadsheet, but uh, you do it's have access only. to check out everybody's channels. Yep, so. but use the form. Use that first link. I dropped, I dropped two links in the chat. The first oldest link is the Google form. The one that says docs.google.com slash form slash something, something, something. And it's in the video description as well. Yeah, that's where you put your channel information and uh, it'll get you into the spreadsheet that way. Luanna Pierce is in the house. Good to see Luanna. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. I hope that storm ain't going to kick you too bad as it comes up the coast. Uh, It's been kind of a nasty little hurricane from what I understand. It it dumped a... A good bit of water, just for funsies, I put a bucket out because my son gave me a, a bucket. He said, do you want a bucket? I'm like, yeah. So I took it. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. So I was washing my car. But anyway, I put it out in the rain just to see how much it filled up. It was two inches. It only rained for 25 minutes. <laughs> like It was coming down. Yeah. Well, we've had some rain here. It's just been like little showers, but it's supposed to start in tonight and basically not quit for like 11 days. 
Yeah. Well, well, keep it over in your state. Don't send it over to Pennsylvania. It, it's going to be like, you know, go get your gopher wood and build your ark. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I guess it'll be good for the beans and maters if it don't wash them clear out of the ground. You know, my, my beans are coming on and looking good. So are my tomatoes. So, you know, I'll probably have a bumper crop with all that rain coming in. I dumped some uh, miracle Grow on them about two weeks ago. And with all this rain coming in, <laughs> I might get covered up in maters and beans before it's all said and done. That's fine. Uh, That's fine. I'll can them. Freezer's full. Yeah. Start eating. <laughs> well, I, I thought I had this old freezer out in the garage that I haven't used in quite some time. And I thought, well, I'll go out there and I'll clean that freezer up. And, and that way, you know, I can put some extra food out there in that freezer. So for two days in the blasting heat, I was out there trying to clean that freezer out. And when I got it all cleaned out and went to kick it on, I realized that that freezer wasn't going to work. Because apparently it sits so long that the coils had rusted out in it. So now I have a, a great big upright tool chest <laughs> oh, there you go that's called repurposing you've repurposed it hey donnie the traveler's here hi donnie hey donnie i haven't seen you in a while i hope everything's well in your neck of the woods we have a question from jim Bashirs. does miracle grow really work yes it does okay. yes it is you heard it here first folks yeah yeah I'm not a big fan of using it, but given the kind of growing season that we've had, it was late getting the crops out this year. And then the, as soon as the frost went away, we started getting blazing heat. And uh, it wasn't real conducive to my garden looking very good. It needed a boost. And I needed to get my maters and my beans this year because I didn't put any up last year. And I said, well, I'll just get some miracle Grow and put on there. And... Yep, it's it's doing its thing. I've got maters just hanging in wads out there. They're little, you know, they, they've got to grow some yet, but there's a mess of them on there and lots of blooms. And then I went out yesterday, I, I thought, I need to get out there and just check those beans, just see what's going on with because I haven't, you know, really paid much attention to them. Oh, my goodness, there's going to be a bumper crop. <laughs> they're, they're little bitty tiny beans on there right now, <laughs> but the blooms are thick and there's lots of beans. And uh, yeah, I'll Something probably get come in. at least three good pickings of beans off of them, them bush beans. So there'll be plenty to put up. All right. But I, I took the liberty of finding some fun facts about summer. Because we're supposed to be about, you know, mind equals blown stuff here. And here's one for you. Sunshine improves your brain function. There's no secret that sunshine offers multiple health benefits, and many of them are mental. According to research from the University of Liege in Belgium, human brains work better in the summer. After having volunteers work on attention and memory tests at different times throughout the year, researchers discovered that brain activity peaked in the summer on the attention task. So if you have a thought of, uh, try this again. So if you have a thought heavy task in mind, you might want to schedule it for July or August. Interesting. So you trying to put that CNC together, say July and August is best time to get that done because your your brain might be working okay i'm on it <laughs> i ain't making no promises <laughs> <laughs> once i get it humming i'll uh i'll, I'll credit you for, for the help <laughs> oh and i want to give everybody a heads up too matt informed me that he's going to be on a busman's holiday on the 29th of this month and won't be able to co-host with me so I have a special guest coming in to co-host with me on the 29th, and ain't nobody going to want to miss it. I ain't going to tell you who yet. It's going to be going to be a surprise, but I got a special guest coming in, and you never can't tell what's going to happen. All right. Big show, Thursday the 29th, folks. Mark your calendars. It's even made Matt nervous. He's not sure you'll have a show to come back to after this one. Yeah, it, it could be scorched <laughs> earth when I return. <laughs> 
just just don't do anything that threatens the entire YouTube platform. <laughs> like only do stuff that'll blow up your own channel. Don't uh, you know make advertisers leave or anything like that. I've made no promises. <laughs> it might be the first viral live stream that they've ever had on YouTube. <laughs> oh. People be sharing that all over the place saying, you ain't going to believe this. And <laughs> she's going to need bail money this time. <laughs> just, just because I'm not hosting, that doesn't mean I might not be in the audience. I will try and be in the audience. <laughs> I well, bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to make sure that when it gets banned off of YouTube, I, I will have at least seen it live. You know, I don't want to <laughs> lose my chance to watch the replay because it. Well, and it, you want to see what we're going to say about you. <laughs> <laughs> you you only say good things about me. That's what you've done in the past, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, you and your hooters. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he says it's a busman's holiday. I'll tell you what it is later on. But <laughs> hey, well, Rich Vibes is here. <laughs> Hi, Rich Vibes. Hey, Rich Vibes. <laughs> what what procedure he's going to have done the end of this month? <laughs> no, there, there, there's no medical thing scheduled to happen during my absence. <laughs> that he'll admit to. Uh, <laughs> See, see what I go through, folks. Do you see what I go through? <laughs> yeah, I know, Luana. I love busting his chops. <laughs> Jimbo's here. Hi, Jimbo. Hey, Jimbo. Good to see you. Hope everything's going well. I, I think the storm's all passed out of Florida now, ain't it? it I think it's going on up the coast. So hopefully everybody in Florida is doing well. <laughs> Nip a duck. I'm trying to type something to Al. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> I'm getting it from every direction, everybody. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> well, you reckon we ought to try to give something away? We can do that. How many people we got in the chat? Uh, one moment. Eleven. Well, that, that's probably enough to try to give something away. Now, here, here's a tip for everybody. The more people we have in the chat, the more stuff I'll give away. Mm. You, know, I, I, we, if, you know, we can get more folks in there, say 25, you know, then I might start giving a couple things away. That's week. fun. You know. Get people in here, folks. So, you know, t tell your friends about this. Everybody likes free stuff. They'll you know, increase I their chances to win if you if you have more than one draw. That's right. So, you know, we can get this boosted up, get some folks in here for the giveaways. Then, uh, you know, I might I might give, a, give it away once in a while. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to drop the link right now somewhere. Here we go. Join the fun. And just giving away free stuff. Is giving away. Well, Jason Clayton's in the house and says he has a question. Well, just you go right ahead and ask it. We may or may not have an answer. Oh, Jason. But hi, Jason. If we don't, we'll make one up. <laughs> yeah. We're good at that. <laughs> Woohoo! Bye, bets. Thank you, Luanna. Super chat. There's a little cowbell for Luanna. <laughs> Thank you, Luanna. What's that? Do you hear that? That's on your end. I know. My, my phone started playing the show. I don't know why. I'm trying to get the lights on here. Smart life. Come on. There okay, Rich, Rich Bobs wants to know, have had to cancel this Sunday's radio show, by the way, Matt. Well, that's not really a question. It's more of a statement. Thanks he's for had, the heads up, man. He's had to cancel his show. Was that show. the movie? Were you, was the movie supposed to be the theme? Mo movie show? Movie themed audio show? But okay. Uh, duly noted, sir. 
Okay, Jason wants to know, is it necessary to mulch squash plants? Now, I'm not a squash expert, but I have raised squash, and I have not had to mulch them. I don't know what zone you're in. I live up in Indiana. So, depending upon where you're at, you you may have to mulch them. Um, but I've never had to do that. I just use, you know, good, rich compost soil and... Uh, Everything go, grows pretty good in it. The only, the only thing that I usually have to add to the soil, except for this year, having to throw some miracle Grow on it because of the weird season we're having up here, uh, is that tomatoes have to have a lot of lime or a lot of calcium thrown in the soil. And so in order to give my tomatoes a good boost, what I do is I just go get a big old bottle of Tums because they're made of calcium. And then when I go to plant my tomatoes, I dig the hole and I just throw a fistful of those tums down in there and, and put a little layer of dirt over that. And then I put plunk my tomato plant in there and bury it. And that keeps the, the uh, blossom end rot off of the tomatoes. Because if you've ever had your tomatoes grow and you get black bottoms on your tomatoes, you can't just cut that black bottom off of them and think that you're going to eat them because they taste horrible. And they're just rotted all the way through. So if you want to get rid of that blossom end rot, you have to have lots of calcium. And you can't just go, you know, and add a cup of lime to the soil and think you're going to broadcast that in and it's going to do any good. You have to really work that soil from fall all the way up to spring. Go out and add some lime or something, you know, some kind of calcium to it every couple of weeks and just keep working that soil to have enough in there. But if you boost it with some Rolaids or Tums or, you know, any of that calcium stuff, a, a fistful of calcium pills, calcium seems to cost a little bit more if you're going after the, you know, the vitamin grade, but I just use the, the antacids, just throw a fistful of them in there underneath my plants and mm -hmm. that always takes care of that blossom end rot. That's like a cheat code for life. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Quick, quick, easy, and, and get you a nice crop of tomatoes that way. And Arlene says, I've never mulched squash, not even when I lived in Washington, D.C. So, there you go. Yep, better head to the dollar store for some Tums, says Jim Bashirs. Yeah, it's, it's not too late to add it. I mean, you can't put it underneath them, but you can always, you know, poke some holes around the tomato plant and poke some tums down in there. Uh, the only time it would really like be too late is if it's already set tomatoes on the vine. What tomatoes is already set could end up getting the blossom end rot on them because it, it has had enough calcium to grow them right from the bloom. But if you see that blossom end rot coming on them, rip them tomatoes off of there, throw those away, and then, you know, let the, the fresh tomatoes come in with the new blooms. Yeah, Luann says, and cheaper too. Yeah, that, that's the idea. Arlene says she grinds boiled eggshells for calcium in the garden. It, yeah, if you've got a family and you're using lots of eggs and you get lots of eggshells like that, that's a good way to go. Here, it's just me. And I don't use enough eggs for it, you know, to really be beneficial. I use what I have, but, you know, that's not enough to really make it good and beneficial. So... There you go. Now you got your gardening tips for the day. And all I put out was the beans and maters this year. I, I should probably put out a bunch of other stuff, but there's only just so many hours of the day and there's just one of me. So true. it is what it is. True, true, true. I'll give you another interesting fact before Ooh, we yeah, do the, do. Before, the, before we do the, the giveaway. Uh, Americans eat enough hot dogs on July the 4th to stretch from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles five times. That's more than 150 million hot dogs, according to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council. And between Memorial Day and Labor Day, Americans consume a whopping 7 billion hot dogs, or 818 every second. Wow. Does that blow your mind? It does blow my mind. There you go. Blows my mind. 
There you go. How That's many people a lot of we got? Weenies, in... Says Arlene. That is a lot of weenies. How many people we got in the chat now? Uh, we have. Mine says see. ten. Ten. We have ten people. So we lost one because we said we was giving stuff away. Uh oh. <laughs> Somebody jump ship. Uh, well, we're gonna give something away, whether they like it or not. Excellent. <laughs> mm. Go ahead and give them the spiel. All right, here we go, folks. Don't guess any numbers yet. Brenda's going to. Uh, Brenda has written down a number on a piece of paper. If you guess that number exactly, you will win. She will mail you a physical prize. She will mail it anywhere in the lower 48 states for free. Costs you nothing. If you live outside the lower 48 states, you can either pay for shipping or re-gift it. That way you can play along. Everyone can play along. Um, make sure you're not behind time. So if you've paused the stream, unpause it and rip the playhead all the way forward because we're all going to do this at the same time. Uh, super Chats optionally help the channel and all the money from Super Chats go to fund the shipping expense. Brenda is on a fixed income. If you can Super Chat, that'd be great. Don't feel obligated to, though. Um, but just know that that's what it, she turns it all over, puts it all back into the channel. And um, really appreciate her doing this for everyone. Um, there's also a chance to win a bonus prize. That's right. You could win two prizes. To guess the bonus prize, you need to guess the number of capital letters she's used in the word she written down for the uh, number. She doesn't write the number in digits. She writes it out, and she goes crazy with capitalization because she knows I'm a publishing professional, and I hate that. So she twists the knife, and it's just one more way to get under my skin, and she keeps doing it week after week, and that's just <laughs> the way Brenda is. So what you would do is you would guess a number put a slash and guess another number for the capital letters. You have two chances to win. Only guess once after she says go. Don't guess. Um, oh, we got someone here. Rest, wrestler Mania. You're just in time for the giveaway. So pick a number between what and what? 20 and 29. 20 and 29. When you're ready. I bust your chops because I love you, honey. Oh, <laughs> I know. I love you right back at you. <laughs> Okay, we're ready, set, go. All right, folks, guess that number. Here they come. Numbers are coming in. Remember, put a number slash and then the, another number for the capital letters if you want to go for the bonus prize. Between 20 and 29. Only guess once. Oh, we got Kilroy. a winner. Oh, Kilroy guessed the same number twice. That's, that's acceptable. We got a winner. Who's the winner? The winner would be Jim Bashir's. Jim Bashirs, congratulations. You're the winner. Let's see how many capital letters you've chosen. He didn't get the bonus, but. Five. Okay, you missed the bonus, Jim, but congratulations on winning the prize. Brenda, what are our prizes this evening? Okay, the, the prizes that I got today, I've got choice out on these bracelets. These are the, the paracord bracelets. I got the smaller one or the larger one. Uh, they're both uh, uh, paracord and they're both the the uh, double Cobras and I've got one of the dragon's eye pendants that it's a green one on a capshon. So we've got that. Um, I've got the little treasure chest that I painted and decorated and you can put your little treasures in. It's painted on the inside too. So there's the little treasure chest or I've got Oh, James Parker. He's re-gifting it to James Parker. Okay. Well, James, then you get your pick. I've got the um, ear pod case. That's the Ben and Jerry's ear pod case. Oh, those are cool. So there's the Ben and Jerry's ear pod case, and it's got the little hole in the bottom of it so that you can charge it and, and all that. And it's got the diddly flopper Thing that you put it on your keychain with <laughs> carabiner <laughs> that's what i said diddly flopper <laughs> hey I, I i felt really uh really proud of myself because when i go to the amusement park yeah i have a little drawstring backpack i put a carabiner on it so when i win prizes I can hook the little loop because they all come with a little loop so they can hang them in the in the booth. <laughs> so now I just hang it off the carabiner and yeah. don't have to hold it or 
get get in the way. Yeah. Smart. So if anybody else just needs a diddly flopper, you just go in a hardware store and you ask them, say, you got one of them diddly floppers? <laughs> It's right next to the whatchamacallits. <laughs> so we got the choice out on the bracelets, either the bigger one or the smaller one, and the double cobra paracord bracelets. We got the dragon's eye Bye. pendant. Bye, Arlene. She's got to go. Bye, Arlene. Drop a like on your way out, please. So there's the, the dragon's eye pendant. We got the, the treasure chest that I decorated up, or we've got the ear pod case. So, okay, so Jason, you are the winner. You were re-gifted this, Jason. So, uh, did you say let... Jason or James Parker? Oh, I'm sorry, James. Who did he uh, say? I apologize. It was uh, James Parker. Sorry, James okay. Parker. So, Jimbo, which gift would you like? All right, let Brenda know. We'll look for that, and uh, she'll get that in the mail. Woohoo! Two dollars. Oh, yeah. right. Two dollar right. super sticker. Thank you, Mrs. Mitchell. Appreciate that. The loom knitter. Thank you, thank you. That helps the show. Thank you. I like That's the little st super sticker. sticker lights. That's how I spend my day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cover stake note, the paracord bracelet doubles as the cord to make a survival tent to hang waterproof cloth over. Yes, it does. Excellent. Comes in handy for a lot of different things. I must be behind. I didn't see that Cl comment come through. Clothes lines or... Uh, Luanna put that up there. It's just a couple things right above the Mrs. Mitchell loom knitters. Oh, right, right, right. Preppers take note. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I thought... Uh, I thought the winner was saying that. Okay, good deal. Um, square. So James. we're waiting to see if James Parker's with us. Well, hopefully hope he didn't so. fly the coop. I uh, hope so. <laughs> How many people we have in the chat room? Nine. Says nine. Maybe he jumped off. Who knows? We'll see. We shall see. Well, we'll give him a minute or two here and see if he, he shows back up. If not, well, we'll let Jim pick somebody else. Yep, 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 So that's why it's important to just kind of hang in there, at least until, you know, we get the giveaways done. <laughs> see if you want anything. It's like buying a lottery ticket and not checking your, your numbers on your lottery ticket. <laughs> So I'm doing something else kind of fun, if you want to hear about that. Sure. I dusted off my bicycle. I own a bicycle. And um, I bought replacement inner tubes for it. Yeah. So I'm going to try and install new inner tubes so I can start using my bicycle. I had it out, cleaned it, hosed it down, scrubbed it down. I'm going to oil it up or grease it up. And... Um, yeah, it's it's a nice bike. I used to know someone. Well, I know someone that owned a bike rental place at the beach. Mm -hmm. So these were the professional bikes, like the not junk bikes that they would rent. And she sold me bikes for me and my wife. And so I have a really nice Schwinn, uh, but it's not a junk one. And it's got all the bells and whistles. Literally has the ka -ching, ka ching the bell on it. It's got a little computer that tells you how far you've went. You know, mm -hmm. it keeps the odometer and tachometer. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good it's a cool bike. It's like 21, 21 speed. Yeah, it's nice. You need one of these for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Oil yeah, I, I'd I'd be afraid. Try to ride a bike anymore I, you know I, i'm so brittle uh well, that's a good question like uh, what do i put on it do i put car motor oil i i have i have more. the end i have engine grease because i fixed my scroll saw and they said buy this valvoline car 
engine grease because it's persistent. It doesn't fly off. It doesn't dry out. So I don't know what to use on it. But anyway. I'd use three in one, but that's just me. Um, that's uh, that's oil. So that's yeah. that's that's I would I would never use WD forty because that no will, that will evaporate and you'll be grinding metal in yeah. two days. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So anyway. Hey, Kilroy, three dollar super sticker. He's doing the fist bumps. <laughs> Give him a fist bump, Brenda. Fa boom, fa boom. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Al Forte. Kilroy seven nine seven six three. Appreciate that. It, it goes to a worthy cause here for the giveaways. Fist bump, fist bump. Pow, well, pow, Jim, pow. we never did hear nothing back from from Jimbo. Do you want to pick somebody else in the chat to give the the giveaway to? Oh, Jim Shears, yeah. Um, don't use baby oil. It can cause an infection. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is no proper chain grease to use. Okay. Well, whatever the case is, I'm going to start okay. using my bicycle. He says, we gift it to Luana. All right, Luana, you saw the choices. We got the dragon's eye. We got the the treasure chest. We got the pair of cords. We got the um, ear pod case. So mm -hmm. just tell me which one you want, and I'll slap your name on it. Slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Woohoo! Another super sticker. I love those little pair people. <laughs> They're awesome. They look a lot like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. The I just made the little red he headband on. <laughs> yep. Yep. And laughing too. You like to laugh. Yep. I do like to laugh. Laughter is the best medicine. Especially laughing at other people. You've been on a tear on Facebook dropping some funny stuff lately. <laughs> oh, if, does, do, does anyone follow her personal account? She just drops <laughs> memes on her personal profile all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to sit and rest often, you know. Uh, I sit and rest and I, I need a laugh because <sighs> laughter is the best medicine after all. And so I put something funny up there. Do you like my new new job that I'm going to start on Saturday? Your new job? What's, what's the new job? Where I strip for the blind. Oh, right. I saw that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I, I, sometimes I, I, I get memes and I just put them in my saved photos and then I'll direct message them <laughs> to Brenda. But they're, they're, <laughs> There was a couple. I'm like, oh, I don't even know if I should send this to Brenda because <laughs> <laughs> they they were pretty over over the top. Um, okay, she wants to know again what the prizes are. We've got the the treasure chest painted inside and out. There's a little treasure chest. Put your little treasures in. Not, not painted, decorated. We've got the green dragon side pendant. There it is. The cat on the cabochon. So if you need a green dragon's eye, or we've got the paracord bracelets choice, whether you want the big one or the little one, they're both double cobras. And we've got the ear pod case. That's the Ben and Jerry's ear pod case with the doobly flopper. <laughs> I'm debating whether or not to share a meme on screen. <laughs> Because it's it's pretty funny. Oh, uh, it's it's a meme between. Do you ever see those little graphs that says successful people's traits and unsuccessful people's traits, and they list you know the mindset and the behaviors of success. Mm -hmm. Well, well, there's one meme style, and it is horrendous. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ay, ay, ay. Download. 
Okay, Luanna, I'm still waiting for you. Tell me which one you want me to slap your name on. Lord have mercy, Matt. I can't give this stuff away. <laughs> okay, she said the paracord. Which one? You want the big one or the small one? I, I, I think this is I think this is share worthy and safe. If you want to put this on screen, we can. This is funny. <laughs> Look at this successful people versus on, these are the character traits. Successful people compliment, have a sense of gratitude. They're born rich. They know karate. They own some falcons. They eat money. <laughs> Have a genie lamp brag, wear several top hats at once, and bribe Congress. <laughs> Unsuccessful people watch anime are named Dave. <laughs> Own a Velcro wallet. Cry on the bus, talk to pigeons, drink the fluid that is in clean plugins. <laughs> Hate Seinfeld. Whittle pronounced gif as Jeff. <laughs> Eat uncooked hot dogs over the sink for dinner. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty unsuccessful. I, I do believe. <laughs> oh. Okay, Luanna, large bracelet it is. I put your name on it. And if you would, please, you know the drill. Drop me your, your mailing address there in the messenger. So that I don't have to go digging for it. Unsuccessful and people have a Velcro wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't fit any of the one in the non-successful people. I don't think I fit any in the successful people either. But, you know, I'm just <laughs> glad not to be on that. Congress? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad not to be on that, that second list. Man. You raised animals. Have, haven't you ever owned a falcon? <laughs> nope. No, but but I think I told this maybe once before on this channel, but uh, back when I was raising critters, I, I used to deal in those little red-eared slider turtles. Remember them little turtles we had when we was kids, them little red-eared slider turtles that, you know, every kid had them. And, you know, we well, I know played. turtles. I don't know about those types of turtles. Yeah, we, we, they, they call them red-eared sliders because they've got red spots on each side of their head. Oh, okay. Little green turtles. Well, when we was kids, you didn't have to have permits and all that kind of thing to sell them things. But times have changed. So now they have it so that, you know, you have to list with the wildlife division, you know, but stuff like that. So every year before the big swap meet down in southern Ohio, I would order a bunch in out of Florida and I'd, I'd tell the wildlife division, you know, the, how many I was getting. And had all my paperwork straightened out. And I'd, I'd order them in so that they'd arrive like a day or two before the big show. And then I'd load them all up, take them down. And I had the the kidney-shaped little swimming pool bowls for them, you know, that has a little pine tree in the middle or palm tree. Mm -hmm. and, and I had little bags of food set up for them, you know, and the whole setup that I'd sell, the turtle and the bowl and the food and, you know, everything they needed for this turtle and i take them down there and i'd have these big tubs of turtles because i'd get like probably 500 of them at a time and oh, man. so i just sit there and you know sell turtles and turtle setups all day well the the show was coming up i, I sent my paperwork in i ordered my turtles turtles come in i loaded them up i had everything ready to go i go down to the show i sell them all out come back home and a couple days after the show this green truck pulls in my driveway you you sold five hundred turtles. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd sell out every time I took them. That's a heck of a heck of a sell. It, well, it was an entire fairground. It was nothing but a sea of tents. Okay. I mean, the, the place was just packed. And so, a couple of days after the show, I'm back home and I was working around out in the kitchen, looking out the kitchen window, and a little old green truck pulls in my driveway with some insignias there on the side of it. So I step out on the front porch, see who it is. This feller gets out in a green uniform and he announces that he's got this clipboard under his arm and announces that he's with the wildlife division. And he's there to inspect my turtles. And I said, well, you're going to have one hell of a time doing that because I've sold them. <laughs> I said, you sold them? I said, yeah, I got them for that big sale down in Southern Ohio. And so I got them in, you know, I filed my paperwork like I was supposed to. I took them down there and I sold them and they're gone. 
I said, so I can't show you what I ain't got. <laughs> and so he kind of stood there dumbfounded, you know, because they didn't know what to do at that point. And I said, well, you know, I guess if they're sold, they're sold. And I said, yeah. And I said, but now, wait a minute. You said you're with the Wildlife Division. And he says, yeah. And I said, well, then I got a couple questions for you. <laughs> of course you do. I thought, you know, I ain't going to let him get away from here unscathed. He's going to come in here and be bugging me about them turtles. We're going to make sure that he don't come back. So <laughs> I said, uh, since you're with the Wildlife Division, I said, you see that silo out there in front of the barn? He says, yeah. I said, well, around behind that silo, there's a hole. That something is burrowing down there and getting underneath my barn. And I need you to go out there and poke your arm down in there and pull it out. See what's down in there digging up my barn. Yeah, right. And I mean, I didn't crack a smile, nothing. And he looks at me and his eyes, you know, getting wider and wider. He says, I'm not going to do that. And I said, you said you's with the wildlife division. I said, you ought to be willing to do something like that. I said, Marlon Perkins is not going to send for you because whenever he'd ask Jim to do that kind of stuff, Jim was always, you know, out there wrestling the alligators and everything while Marlon hid behind the rock. I said, so, you know, I, I question whether you really work for the wildlife division if you ain't willing to do something like that. And <laughs> he's just, he's trying to figure out how to get back into his truck. <laughs> Mission <laughs> and, accomplished. And I said, hey, one more thing before you go. And he says, yeah. And I said, you see that big old corn crib out back out there? And he says, yeah. And I said, well, you know, I don't use that for anything anymore. And it, it's just sitting out there. And I hate to have to tear it down. I was thinking I could probably go and get me some chicken wire or, you know, some hardware cloth or something, you know, cover the sides of it up and, and cover up the, the doorways in it. And I could go and get me like some some falcons and some spotted owls and maybe some eagles or, you know, some of that kind of stuff. I could raise them out there. And that barn, and he's looking at me like, you know, I've just grown a second head. And I said, <laughs> I was wondering, do you know if there's a good market for that kind of stuff? Because I hear they taste just like chicken. Oh, Brad, the no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just turned around, got in his truck, backed out the driveway, and burnt rubber getting down the road. And I never did see him again. You'll never, you'll never see him again, ever. Mr. Doughboy356 is here, and so is the American Wanderer. Hello, hello. Good to see both of you. <laughs> That's that. I'm, like, of course you did that. Like, I'm not yes, surprised did. that you did yeah. that. But, Most oh, certainly man. did. Oh. <sighs> But I never did see him again, so mission accomplished. I wanted to make sure he wasn't going to come back, you know, come around aggravating me about such things. That We used to play them turtles like nothing when I was a kid. And now, you know, everything's got to have a rule, a regulation, a bunch of paperwork, a bunch of foolishness going along with it and cause you a bunch of grief. And here to inspect the turtles, turtle inspector. What the hell kind of a title is that? A, a term can, comes to mind based on this um, story you told. Mental torture. <laughs> you imagine going and getting a job and they tell you that you're going to be the turtle inspector. <sighs> I tell them, keep that job. <laughs> Mr. Doughboy says eagle eggs are delicious. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. I, was, I think I was watching uh, uh, Archer, like an animated adult cartoon. Not adult, but, you know, for... for grown-ups anyway and he says what's what's the dash of this luxury vehicle there's like a luxury vehicle and the dash was really nice and he goes what's that made out of he says bald eagle beaks <laughs> <laughs> oh no well we used to go to all these you know different animal swap meets and shows and stuff and and they'd come up with some of the craziest animals you ever seen like you know there'd be hairless rats Mm. And, you know, and all this stuff. And so I'd, I'd always tease him about how many hours did you spend and how many buckets of nair did you have to use to get the hair off of them? <laughs> hairless guinea pigs and hairless rats. And oh. so how, how much work is involved in getting all that hair off of them? <laughs> oh. 
It seems to be in pretty good spirits for all you probably put it through to get all that hair off of it. <laughs> I, I'd be pretty pissed off if I was that critter. What's the genetic advantage of having no hair and being a rat? <laughs> I mean, that, it, 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 they'd be so cold. Mm. You know, they, they couldn't be out in the wild no more because they'd freeze to death. Luana wants what I'm drinking. I want what he's been smoking. <laughs> crack is whack, people. Crack is whack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah jim bashir's welcome to mind equals blown hairless rats <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, yeah they, they had they had some of them them rats that would take up like a dog cage they was huge i don't know if those was supposed to be like those neutrinas or whatever they call them but yeah i, I saw all kinds of stuff at the the swap mm. and I, I was at one you'd love this i'm I pull in there a little late. I was about an hour after the thing really kind of got going. And there was about, it was a small show. It was only about maybe 30, 40 people set up there. And I pull in and I pull up next to this pickup truck and I open up the back of my hatchback there and I'm, I'm getting my stuff out, setting up my tables and stuff and had my back to the pickup truck next to me. And all of a sudden I feel something's got a hold of my leg. And so I look down, and there's a black bear. It's got its paws wrapped around my leg. A bear? And the, the guys are sitting on the tailgate of this truck laughing. Because I guess they thought, you know, oh, this lady, you know, she's going to be screaming and carrying on and you know, having a fit because this black bear's got a hold of her. And so I just turned around very calmly and looked at the guy sitting on the tailgate having a good laugh. And I said, do you want to call him off? Or do I make a rug out of him? The laughing stopped. And they called off their bear. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It didn't go quite the way they had anticipated it going. Note to self, do not prank Brenda. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I'm thinking, I've been around critters all my life. I'll be darned if I'm going to let somebody's pet bear get the best of me out here at the swap meet. You know, that that is not happening. We'll just make a rug out of him and be done with it. <laughs> mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. But yeah, they thought they was going to be cute, you know. that That's probably the wildest thing that ever happened to me at one of the swaps. We had all kinds of weather issues. I mean, you know, there was times where we had ice that would form on top of the tents and I get up in the morning and the tops of the tents would be sagging down, you know, so I'd take my broomstick and whack the, the tarps there on the top of the tent to knock the ice off and it would just slide off in sheets out into the driveway. And then I had a, a saggy top tent <laughs> this one time that it was about worn out. It ro- probably needed to go to the trash, but I'd taken it anyway and set it up and it came a rainstorm. And this tent was taken on water up on the top of it. So I was up all night long with my broomstick pushing the top of that tent back up to keep the water out of the, off the top of the tent to keep it from collapsing and ruining everything that I had inside the tent. And dust storms and wind storms and uh, snow to storms. Make a buck. Yeah. You know, it was always, you know, something. It, the heat waves coming through. I mean, I was at some of them where it was over 100 degrees. You know, I was having to ice down the animals and everything to keep the animals from overheating. And, yeah. So. <laughs> Her broomstick main navigation items she has. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I drove that big old ambulance, you know, <laughs> so I had plenty of room to carry everything that I needed. And, you know, broom was one of the essential items that you needed because once you got everything out of the ambulance, you had to sweep it out so you could throw your sleeping bags and stuff in there on the floor. And then, you know, you never knew what, what she's going to need, that old long handle on something. I was the go-to person. They always knew, you know, who to go to if they needed anything, especially bailing wire or duct tape. Mm. You know, because they get in there and they'd be trying to set things up and inevitably they'd need some bailing wire or they'd need some duct tape or 
you know, a hammer. <laughs> got all the mounts. Yeah. I need something to put stuff together with. So I was the go-to gal. Everybody always knew that, hey, she drives that big old ambulance. she got all them cubby holes in there, and they're all filled with something. <laughs> Whatever it is you need, she's probably got it in there. <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. Well, let's see. Are you going to get back to, to normal this week and, and doing your show? Or Yes, I will have a show on the 17th, I think, 12th. No, wait, my God. Yeah, 12. <laughs> July 12. Next Monday. Next Monday. I'm doing next, it. Next Do I have Monday, it on the calendar? Do I have it published? Let me see. Go to my YouTube studio. Uh, content. Live. I do not have a URL for it. That sucks. I'll do that now. Luana said she had a med kit. Yeah, I had several cupboards full of whatever you needed if any, anything happened to you. I could do everything except, like, um, make a cast. <laughs> I could tape you up and, and gauze you up, and I had all kinds of ointments and creams and salves and, you know, whatever you needed to try to cure you till you could get to the hospital or the doctor or wherever you needed to go. There will be a Hover Haven come out later tonight. And for those of you who watched the last one, I'm sorry that the audio was messed up on it. It was something on YouTube's end because everything on my computer sounded fine uh, until I loaded and uh, well, until it loaded for the upload for actually going live on, on YouTube. That's when it screwed up. So I don't know. I didn't know how to fix it either. And since it wasn't very long, I just left it as it wasn't very long. You could still hear what you were saying. My link is in the description. You can click that and choose set reminder. And I'll see you Monday, July 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern, baby. Well, it's not in the description. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Yep. Did I say description? Sorry. Yeah. In the chat, folks. In the chat. Because I was sitting here trying to figure out how did he get it in the description? Because I thought I was the only one that could do that. Boy, wouldn't that be? I, <laughs> I went to, I, I nudged uh, uh, Susan said, hey. <laughs> yeah, so, she, she knows how to mess with my channel plenty. So getting with her will probably tell you everything you needed to know. <laughs> I was like, just go into the back end database and then uh, take take this text string and paste it in there for me, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, with all that being said, I think that, that Russell's going to have a show Saturday night. Um, well, do we really say hi to Frankie? He just showed up. Hi, Frankie. See, see well, hi, Frankie. Thing. Glad to see you. We're, we're about to sign out of here, but uh, I think Russell over on Simply Wooden Creations is having a show Saturday night. Um, he didn't have one last week because of 4th of July and all the festivities. Uh, speaking of that, before we go, I want to ask you, how was your 4th of July fireworks in your neighborhood? Uh, loud, persistent, um, they're, they're, there's kind of dueling neighbors, neighbors this way and the neighbors that way. <laughs> pop, 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 <laughs> Was it worse this year than last? About the same. About the same. It was about tenfold here what it was last oh, year. Oh, my Lord. And I thought last year was bad enough. I thought the house was going to explode. I mean, oh, it was just man. absolutely horrendous for about an hour. And then it started slowing down some. And they haven't been real bad this week, you know, about setting them off. You hear, you know, four or five of them a night, but it, it hasn't been anything outrageous. But Did boy, I tell you what, 4th of July night, I thought the house was going to explode. Oh, man. Did you, did you see the reverse memes? Because everyone says, you know, fireworks are bad for animals and things yeah. like that. But the one said, it's July 5th. I've been setting off fireworks and drinking all night. So if you could please keep your dogs from barking, it's bothering me. <laughs> like, it was like the complete opposite. Of I was like, oh. That one and the one, I put the one up with the dog that was smoking. Well, it looked like maybe a cigarette. I'm not, you know. Hey, I'm not going to judge. And <laughs> he was talking about, you know, how the struggle's real on the 5th of July. Yeah, he had PTSD because <laughs> yeah. he was, yeah. Oh, funny stuff. 
<laughs> well, with all that being said, uh, I plan to be back here next Thursday. Lord willing, creeks don't rise and all that good stuff. So uh, y'all come back with us, bring your friends, you know, and we'll we'll do some more giveaways. So y'all have a good one. Try to stay cool. Try to stay dry. Keep your powder dry.